Hello, welcome to my Minecraft tutorial. This is episode number 50 in my How to Survive and Thrive series. And in today's episode, we are going to go on the run here and get some help from our Iron Golem. Where is he? Where's our Iron Golem? There, there he goes. Okay. Sick him, buddy. You got him. There you go. Oh, punted. Oh, oh dear. That's got to hurt. Oh, get those guys too. Yep. So... Let's back up here. In today's episode, we are going to take a look at the Iron Golem. And we're going to make one as well for home defense purposes. Hi! Don't look at me like that. You're making me nervous. Look at you. Look at me. And look at you. And look at me. <laughs> so yes, indeedly do, folks. This is a an Iron Golem. And an Iron Golem is a, um, a monstrosity with uh, a kind heart. At least a soft spot spot in his heart for villagers not so much the player but um he will be neutral to me he is neutral to me right now so he will not attack me but he will attack hostile mobs except creepers that either a get in his way or within five blocks essentially doesn't seem to mind pigs uh, in fact that is one tough pig push back iron golem here i will help you there we go okay it was a tug of war um, but they will also defend villagers. I had to. I didn't like that. I'm trying to do a tutorial. You're getting in the way and you're pushing around the big guy that I'm talking about here. So um, so anyway, iron golems will protect villagers. If a villager is under attack, they will basically zoom right over there and give them a hand. Um, that is if they are somewhere nearby. Now, this particular village, this NPC village is um well it's had a little construction i actually built this little apartment building here we go okay we've got a zombie attacking looks like on the other side he's trying to break in i built this to attract more villagers because these iron golems will spawn naturally but only if they oh hi he will not attack the creepers i'll have to deal with this guy myself whoops <laughs> he put him up on the roof maybe that wasn't such a good design after all We'll have to talk to the uh, <laughs> the contractor <laughs> for this, won't we? Uh, do you have his number? So, as you can see there, the Iron Golem did go and try to protect this villager in that uh, in this end unit here. But the, um, the zombie's not coming down. I'm not coming down. Oh, no. <laughs> so, I had basically built this low-level, um, single-level apartment structure in order to attract the iron golem so you need and i'll have to double check the wiki for this and i'll put a link down below to the wiki i think it's 16 16 villagers and there's a, a chance that an iron golem will spawn now i've been kind of hanging around here until it happened um and he did indeed spawn and you also need to get 16 villagers you need more houses you need more apartments or, or homes and these are all these all qualify as homes for villagers so they will they will make new villagers so i know there are a couple of babies running around here so when I built this up, um, some I actually spawned a couple of villagers with uh, the spawn eggs in creative mode, and then they uh, they had a couple of little babies, and and that's when the uh, the iron golem spawned. So now that's all fine and dandy. I'm not going to live here. So my protection, if I the problem is getting an iron golem back to your um, you know back to your home base. Now I want to have a golem for home defense. I'm gonna I'm gonna help this guy out right here. Oh. Oh, I was going to go up there and push him off for you, but that that works. <laughs> okay. Maybe I should leave a block here for that particular purpose. Yeah, why don't we do that? We're going to help you out, son. Pig is, this pig is just hanging around, just looking for trouble. He's going to get it, too. He's going to use this dirt for the home project. But, yeah, that'll give him uh, at least a way to get up there if he has to. Hey, excuse. All right, so... Now, the problem is getting the Iron Golem home with us. Uh, my plan is to get an Iron Golem around my, uh, my Tower of Power for defense purposes. So what we need to do is get the, go the Golem back to, obviously, our home base. And, and I could there's two ways to do this. I could try to push him all the way back. But it's a, kind of a long push, and I could do that. I am actually a little stronger than you, aren't I? Just don't hit him accidentally, because he'll trounce you. They have about 100 health points. So that translates to 50 hearts. 
So look at you and look at me. Now look at him and look at me. I have what ten hearts. So yeah, he would he would hurt. Um, so anyway, here's the other way to get one of these guys back at home. You can actually build them with iron blocks and a pumpkin on top, and you can make them for home defense. And that's what we're going to do. I just wanted to give you an idea of how they actually operated here in the village in their natural habitat. Oh my gosh. And uh, the idea now is to head back to Cozy Cottage and home base. And we're going to make another one. So why don't we do that? I'm going to head back right now. And wow, we are surrounded by creepers. So I think I just have to find my boat. Which is over by the new construction building there. I know it's really ugly building, but I just had to get it. Just, just wanted to get that done to get those villagers. But Okay. Now I will meet you back at Cozy Cottage. I know that's the direction. And we'll take it from there. All right, here we are back at the Tower of Power. So the idea that I have is to build a perimeter fence around this and put the Iron Golem inside that perimeter fence so that he doesn't wander off. They do have a tendency to do that if you don't corral them within an area so that they can't leave. Now, I don't need it down at Cozy Cottage because I have a perimeter fence around there. So the whole idea here, um, what I'm trying to avoid is stepping out of nether, uh, the Tower of Power and coming face to face with a uh, undesirable, which happens all too often. Uh, creeper, spider, skeleton, whatever, sometimes they're just waiting out here for me. So I figure a perimeter fence would keep them at bay. And if anything happens to get inside, the, um, the Iron Golem will deal with it. And it's just cool to have an Iron Golem. Don't you think so, Sammy? So I have Sammy and Tang um, as my assistants on this project. So what I'm going to do first is level the ground here because iron golems work. They operate best on nice, flat, level ground. And I'm going to put a perimeter fence around here. I have lots of nether brick fence and nether brick, which I went back to the nether and to the nether fortress and harvested a whole bunch more of that for this particular project. And I figure I'll have, I don't know, maybe four blocks out, four blocks out this way. Give the Iron Golem plenty of maneuver space here. And I'm just going to knock this down. Um, I may just leave this too on this side. He can get, the, the, the Iron Golem will be able to get through here. And um, so I'm going to do that right now. I think what I'll do is fast forward through that because that's going to take a few minutes and you don't really need to watch me do that. That's kind of painful. So, all right, well, here we go. Oh, wait, and then um, I have all the materials inside. I've got plenty of iron, which I pulled out of the stronghold from the last episode, and we'll obviously craft up the iron golem and then plop them in once the perimeter fence is all built up. Good plan, Sammy? Good plan. Excellent. Let's do it. Okay, I think that about does it for that. I will eliminate all that later. So why don't we go ahead and put down the perimeter fence and the blocks. I may pretty this up at another time, but I just want to kind of get through this as quickly as I possibly can for the tutorial purposes. But I may, uh, like I said, I'll probably go through here later. I don't, I'm not even sure if I'm going to have enough, frankly. And if I don't have enough of the nether... Uh, fence. I'll just use um, regular fencing for now, which I got lots of from the um, from the stronghold that I had found in the prior episode. Now I'm gonna have to have some kind of a, a gate over here 
and I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do for a gate, but why don't we just do this for now? Um, yeah, we'll just do something like this. Excuse me, Sammy. There we go. Just nudge you right out of the way. Um, yeah, that's good enough for now. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to have enough fencing. What I'll do is I can just build up a wall with this. I can make part of it just a stone wall. Maybe I will have enough. It's going to be close, ain't it? I can put more of the stone brick in to supplement here and there. It's going to be really close. Actually, if I can grab that over there. And I missed. Good one, Paul. Good enough for government work, as they say. <clears throat> You know, not that government works bad or anything, it's just what they say. So I will capture some of this here. And then we'll release the Kraken. I mean, Iron Golem. Okay, let's go make up the Iron Golem. So that's, I guess, okay. And I don't know, I'll put some torches here. I will pretty this up sometime off camera, and then I will let you know how what I did another time. But frankly, right now, I'm just trying to save time. And I don't think the golem can get through there. But for now, we'll just block that off so that he can't escape. All right. Now, I don't know how smart golems are. I don't think he's going to be able to... I, I hope he doesn't fall into the lava. Um, we're going to find out if that can kill him or not. According to the wiki, it can, but... We're going to see. If it does, I'll just leave the bridge down. I don't really... Uh, the bridge up. I won't really need it anymore, now will I? Okay, here's all... Oh, by the way, here's all the stuff I got from the stronghold. Everything in here. Not a bad haul. I actually found four diamonds. Um, brought back a bunch of various stone that, that you can only get in the strongholds. And 46 iron ingots. So now what we need to do is make four full blocks of um, iron. Oops. One, two, three, four. Yes, it does require a lot of iron, unfortunately, but what the heck? Let's do it. Iron golems are cool, and I want one. Hopefully it doesn't fall into that lava and burn off in the first ten seconds. <laughs> uh, that's going to stink. You know, I probably should have tested this before. Hey, what are you, you going to do, right? Good enough for government work. Testing... That's for um, that's for amateurs. Okay, so here's what we do. Oh, by the way, take your solid iron blocks and you make a T like so. One high, and this is the body, the legs, the arms, and then you take a pumpkin or jack-o'-lantern and plop it up on top. It has to go last. Hi! Hello! Oh, don't hit him. Right now we're friends. Friends forever. Me and you, buddy. And go. Keep bad guys out. Thank you very much. Now, one thing... Oh, we're going to have to change these, actually, because he can climb over those. So we're going to have to make these too high. No! <laughs> okay. Imagine <laughs> if we just tumbled off the hill. You cost a lot of iron, friend. Yes. I don't want to see you go tumbling off the hill before we get to know one another. I mean, we just met. Let's give it a chance, will we? Shall we? Okay, and once again, I will go around and make sure that... Um, I make this a little prettier, nicer looking, but he can't get over the, the fence, so not a problem. Now, what you do want to do is make sure that we don't have anything any ledge around the sides where a monster could fall like over here I'll have to get that don't come over here this is for professionals only because if he knocks a, a, a monster ha ah, no if he mon if he knocks a monster off the edge over the over the fence he's just going to concentrate on that one bad guy until he kills it so that's why it's a good idea to have no ledge here at least on well no ledge on those two sides. I'm going to have to do something about the ledge on this side. So I might just eliminate all that, uh, all this ground here as well. So 
um, if they do happen to fall down there, either they're out of his range, maybe, I don't know, or maybe I'll put a lava um, moat down there so they'll fall into lava and he'll stop thinking about it. <laughs> I don't know if that's even going to work. But anyway, so that's an iron golem, and why don't we... Well, we're not going to get any monsters in here anyway, so... But it is kind of cool to have one, isn't it? No! Iron golems do not attack creepers. Or ghasts, or wolves. I'm not sure about cats. What? <laughs> Tang heard this. What? <laughs> well, just stay out of reach, Tang. You'll be fine. So I would like to get a monster here just to give him a try. See what it's like, but uh, I'm not going to be able to do that without cheating. So I'm going to have to eliminate that. So if you knock somebody over the fence, they go hurtling down. So I could actually open this up, and maybe if I get more of this fence, I could encompass more of an area down here, and he can even be like uh, a shepherd down there and keep an eye on my, my cows and my sheep. So I could slowly spread this out, make it a little bit larger, you know, expand this corral farther and farther out, and then he'll uh, go off and, and, and patrol that area as well. I'm still curious to see if he falls in that lava. He kind of renders this bridge obsolete. Kind of, sort of, but it's kind of cool to have, that's all. So that's an iron golem, folks. And uh, if you kill an iron golem, if you do happen to hit one, you'll have to kill it, or it's going to kill you. They will drop some iron blocks. Um, iron ingots, not blocks. They'll drop three to five, I think it is, and uh, sometimes a, a red rose or two, which they do sometimes give to villagers. Every now and then you can see one hand a, a red rose to a villager, which is pr pretty cool. That's based on a uh, notch. Whoever designed this iron golem actually got that from a, a, a film. Um, it's an animated film, Castle in the Sky, I believe. I've seen that with my kids. It's really pretty good, so... Anyway, I'm off on a tangent, and now I think I'm off to uh, get back to work. So anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you did, a like is always appreciated. And he really creeps me out when he's eyeballing me. Look at him. He's totally eyeballing me. From feet to head, he's like, yeah, I could take that guy. I'll just squash him. One little bounce with my arm, or maybe stomp on his head. That's what I'll do. <laughs> look at you look at me look at you <laughs> look at me <laughs> yes the old spice iron golem man <laughs> all right everybody have a good day and uh we'll see you soon take care bye-bye yikes <laughs>